Your review should have two goals. First, to inform the reader about the content of the book, and second, to provide an evaluation that gives your judgment of the book's quality. Your introduction should include an overview of the book that both incorporates an encapsulated summary and a sense of your general judgment. This is the equivalent to a thesis statement. Do not spend more than one-third or so of the paper summarizing your book. The summary should consist of a discussion and highlights of the major features, concepts, themes, and ideas from the book. While you may use direct quotes from the book, make sure that you always give the page number. Such quotes should never be the bulk of your summary. Much of your grade will depend on how well you describe and explain the material in your own words. You might want to take the major themes of the book and discuss those as well. So what do I want if not just a summary? Throughout your summary, I want you to provide a critique of the book, hence the title, A Critical Book Review. The critique consists of thoughts, responses, and reactions. It is not necessarily negative, nor do you need to know as much about the subject as the author, because you hardly ever will. The skills you need are an ability to follow an argument and test a hypothesis. Regardless of how negative or positive your critique is, you need to be able to justify and support your position. Your critical book review should be about two to three pages. Make sure that you include the title of the book and the author in the first paragraph. Your thesis statement needs to be the last sentence in the first paragraph. I have included several documents that will help you in writing the review. Also, refer to your textbook.